learning about history often requires more than just the memorization of facts and dates. Professors often ask students discussion questions that aren't necessarily found directly quoted in the text. Instead, you must think critically about the information presented to determine the answer. By reading about an event, thinking about what happened, and seeing the connections and consequences, you can draw conclusions about historical significance. So how do you learn to think critically? The best way is to read actively. Active reading is more than just reading a passage. Active reading requires you to think about the text as you're reading and ask questions. As you're reading your text, think about these kinds of questions. What do I already know about this topic? How does this connect to other topics or events in history? How does this connect to previous course readings? Why did my professor choose this reading? Why is this information important? Remember that authors are often making an argument or a point in their writing. Remember to consider other sides of an argument, too, when you're reading actively. Consider these sorts of questions. Do I agree with what the author is saying? Why or why not? What evidence or examples does the author use to make his or her point? Does this text agree with previous or similar history texts I've read? Answering these questions about a text will give you a more robust understanding of history. And when you think critically about your readings, you'll be able to fully answer any questions your professor has about the information. Thanks for watching.